Hi, are you interested in working in cybersecurity in this year and the coming years? Well, I don't blame you if you are, because it is one of the hottest fields around with no signs of slowing down. And even with all the global recession and inflation, it is one of the highest paying fields around and salaries are going up. They're not going down. And usually cybersecurity professionals are some of the highest paid people in the market right now. However, what if you're not interested in technical parts, you know, you're not interested in the technical details like penetration testing and cloud security and coding. And you're more interested in the governance side of things, you know, you're more interested in regulation, standards, compliance. Maybe you come from an accounting background or an auditing background. Then, well, good news is that if you are interested in these things like policies, regulations, compliance, so and most importantly, risk management, then IDGRC, which is governance, risk and compliance, that is the career for you. This is choosing this side. It is easily the best cybersecurity career for people. You might not have a technical background, but you are still interested in cybersecurity, right? You want to make a career. So this is what I'm going to be talking about today, which is how to start a governance, risk and compliance, a GRC career in this year, 2022 and in the forthcoming years also. So let's get started. Let's talk about GRC, what it is and how you can make a career in this. So before we get started, of course, please uh, welcome to my channel, which is called the Cloud Security Guy. My name is Tamur, and we talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cybersecurity career advice. Before we go ahead, please do like and subscribe to this channel, guys. This will really help the channel to grow. I just very recently hit a thousand subs, which I never expected to happen. So thank you very much for that. But please do keep liking and sharing as much as you can so that more people can benefit from this. So first of all, Let's talk about GRC. When I said governance, risk and compliance, what does I mean by that? So GRC stands for governance, risk, risk management and compliance. Most businesses, you know, and most people are familiar with these three terms, but what happens is they practice them separately. So the GRC field, it combines governance, risk management and compliance in one model. And this helps your company reduce, you know, uh, like wastage, increase efficiency, reduce non-compliance risk. And they share information more effectively with each other, you know, because all three of these fields, they are related with each other, right? So governance, if you want to talk about governance, is the set of policies, rules and frameworks that a company uses to achieve its business goals, right? Like you have stakeholders, like board of directors, senior management, you need to have good corporate governance to make sure that the company is following good ethical practices, right? Like you have transparent information sharing, resource management, those sort of things. Risk management. I'm sure you are aware of this, but businesses, they face different type of risks, right? Financial, legal, strategic, security risks. And risk management helps businesses to identify these risks and find ways to fix this, right? Usually companies have an enterprise risk management program uh, to identify risks and to fix security loopholes or any other types of risks. And compliance, it's the act of following rules, laws and regulations. So it applies to legal regulatory requirements by like they are set by regulators, even security compliance requirements like GDPR, like ISO, PCI, DSS. So you understand this is this is how all sorts of these things come together and uh, they merge in the GRC field, okay? And why is GRC important? I mean, if you understood the definition, you could understand, right? Because by implementing GRC programs, businesses and companies can make better decisions in a risk aware environment. Effective GRC program, it helps stakeholders set policies, comply with regulatory requirements, reduce the security risks, Right, you can make data different data driven decisions because you know what your risks are, what your compliance requirements are, uh, what, what type of risk you have to like take into, what are your governance requirements, your ethics, all of those things come together with an integrated GRC approach. And you can apply data security measures by having like a proper GRC strategy, right? So all of these things, this is why it's so critical to have like a GRC implementation because it doesn't matter how big your company is, all companies of all sizes they face challenges that can impact your revenue, your reputation, your interest. You can have like security risks, you can have new regulatory requirements, data privacy, all sorts of those things, GRC helps to mitigate those. So how does GRC work? Like, I mean, this can be like a very, very long topic, but if you roughly break it down, it works in three ways. One is the sh setting up the stakeholders, right? So it, uh, GRC requires cross-functional collaboration across different departments like risk management, audit, compliance, right? You have senior executives who are making risks who are assessing this when making decisions, legal teams, you have finance managers, you have IR, HR executives, you have IT departments. So all of them need to come together in the GRC framework to help you solve this risk, right? Apart from that, you have a GRC framework, like a risk management framework. It's the model for managing governance and compliance within the company. So you set down the policies, right? You adopt a GRC framework, 
you take a proactive approach to mitigating risks, making good decisions. And most companies, they implement GRC by adopting a framework that already contains those policies. And then you base your work on a shared understanding from this framework. You make your policies, you set down rules, you assess your maturity, and you basically assess your maturity slowly, slowly as it grows, right? If you are at a low level of maturity, you might not be able to identify good uh, properly the risks which are there. And then slowly, slowly as you mature, you will identify it more. And lastly, which is very important, the GRC tools. So GRC tools are software applications that businesses use to manage policies, assess risk, control user access, streamline compliance. I mean, you might have used things like Archer and there are many, many other things also. But GRC software, basically it helps you automate the GRC frameworks by using computer systems, right? And you can put in evidences, you can put in, people can report risk, it will track, it will give you timelines. And most of these uh, software, they already have these built-in GRC frameworks, right? And honestly, I mean, even if you don't have them, you don't have a budget, you can use just use Microsoft Excel. I mean, there is no better tool than Microsoft Excel just for tracking those uh, things. Of course, if you have a proper enterprise solution, the thing about these things is they have very excellent integrations. I mean, if you have a security solution like SIEM, then they can integrate, they can create tickets, you can create alerts, right? They have, if you have auditing tools, they can integrate with audit tools like AWS Audit Manager. So that, that's the benefit. All of these like departments, different departments, they can have access to one tool and put in all the data there. So I hope you understood how GRC works and what GRC is. So now that we've discussed it, how to start it? Like, okay, you like it, but okay, so you say, how do I start my career in GRC? Well, first of all, I would recommend you, now that you understand GRC, getting one of these certifications, which is Certified Fraud Examiner, your CISA, Certified Information System Auditor, or maybe the CISSP, Certified Information Security Manager, Certified in Risk and Information System C-Risk. Like, they, they would give you a very good baseline. If you don't have any of them, then the GRC, like a, to be a good GRC professional, you need to at least have one of these certifications. That will give you a very, very good baseline from starting. After that, you would need to gain knowledge of those standards, like ISO, PCI DSS, ISO 22301, SOC Type 12, SAS, GDPR, HIPAA. If you are a GRC professional, you need to understand your industry specific compliance requirements, right? You need to understand what are the requirements. Maybe you're in the banking sector, maybe you're in the card processing sector. You have things like Sabanis Oxley, you have data privacy rules, you have anti money laundering rules. And as a GRC professional, you're expected to be an expert and know these things because people will be coming to you and asking you questions about these things, okay? And okay, now that you know them, okay well, how do i get a job in this you might be asking okay you've got a certification you've got knowledge of standards usually the one of the easiest ways if you're serious about this to go to the consultancy firms like the big four usually they have very good training programs and they can slowly slowly ramp you up and make you experts in this audit and consulting consultancy firms most people who are gse experts they start their careers in one of these okay and then you have technology firms also like i don't want to name any specific big of these big outsourcing firms consultancy firms from it side they can like really ramp you up like if you have a specific company targeting towards like pci dss like trust wave uh, uh, very sure i don't sorry I, I thought i wouldn't say any names but i did men mention them <laughs> yeah you can use them an easy way to look at this is to go to linkedin and look at the grc jobs look at the recent G grc jobs and you will see things like chief audit exec executive internal governance officer chief accountability officer senior it auditor a VP internal assurance, director of global integrity, these sort of things, you will see like what sort of skills are being used and do a gap assessment. Okay. When you see what skills are there, do a gap assessment and see how you can do it. I know people who've spent a few years in the GRC firm, they have really put in their work. And then later on, they've become independent consultants and they can charge very, very high money for their services. Okay. So it's a very good field to be in. And definitely I would recommend and slowly, slowly you can build your career up. You can move up the ladder. It is a definitely a very exciting field to be in. It shows no signs of slowing down. I think the international market is supposed to reach like around 600 billion by 2025 or 2025, eight, uh, 2028. I can't remember the exact one, but definitely it's a good career to start. in if you're interested and it, it can open up some really good avenues for you for career growth. Thank you guys. I hope this was useful for you. Please do check out my other videos also and like, and subscribe to this channel. If you have not done already. Uh, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next